veterans, the Korean War veterans that started off, and now we've got the Latino Peace Officers, Gracie. Uh, the Latino Peace Officers' mission is to ensure equal opportunity in the administration of justice for our members of the community that they serve through leadership, mentoring, and charitable giving, and the creation of a professional association that provides support, advocacy, personal, and professional development. Uh, I see the we're getting ready for our Grand Marshal. Así es, y estamos acá celebrando el 5 de mayo. Gracias a la policía que se hizo presente de la ciudad de San Pablo, estuvieron pasando por ahí, pero ahora mismo quiero decirles algo. Estoy aquí gracias a SPNN y mi compañera María Isa. Hey, hey, hey. Estoy aquí participando con SPNN. Estamos viendo que está llegando por ahí muy pronto. Parece que ya se ve llegar Grand Marshal Mr. Frank Cruz. Yeah, Grand Marshal Mr. Frank Cruz. Long, lifelong West Sider. Shout out to the West Side. Yes. Uh, uh, Long-time West Sider, West Sider for life. I'm a West Sider Gracie and uh, raised on the West Side. And I can tell you from experience all the dedication that Mr. Frank Cruz has had. Um, he's not only a West Sider, but he's a community activist, a war veteran, um, volunteer here on the West Side, community servant who's involved in so much here on the West Side, so much from West Side Boosters, Our Lady of Guadalupe Church, and anything that is a positive influence to our community. Here. One thing that I noticed about Mr. Uh, Frank Cruz is that he's so involved with the Lady Guadalupe Church, right? So he does yeah. a lot of activities with the Lady Guadalupe Church, and I gotta say, gracias por el apoyo. Esto es el representación dándole ese galardón, estar aquí con el desfile del 5 de mayo. Yo estoy súper contenta de participar nuevamente y mi compañera María Isa. ¿Cómo vamos, María Isa? ¿Qué estamos viendo? Qué, ¿Qué, qué coche tan chévere, ¿verdad? Ay, I love his lowrider. Way to represent, Frank. Way to represent. That's amazing. Eso es, toda la gente de la huesa bien representada claro. con nuestro querido Marshall, Mr. Grand Marshal Mr. Frank Cruz. Y a yes. ver, ¿qué tenemos a continuación? It looks like we have um, the, the Our Lady of Guadalupe Church. Oh, that's what it is. And the Cruz family. And the Cruz means? family and the West Side oh. Boosters. There's the West Side Boosters. Yay. Yay. So, un apoyo para todos ellos son los jóvenes de representando aquí al West Side, el equipo este. So, what do we have about that? Um, well, I love the West Side Boosters. I'm an alumni forever. Once you're a West Side Booster, forever West Side Boosters. And we're a youth sports organization that has strong community ties, along with being ingrained with traditions here from our community. Our mission uh, with the West Side Boosters is to provide football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer leagues for both boys and girls ages 6 through 14. Uh, you don't turn any kids away for their inability to pay. And they've been established here on the West Side for 46 years. And our Grand Marshal has been heavily involved with our organization. And y a continuación tenemos a Lady Guadalupe Church. Aquí está todo el grupo que viene representando a Lady Guadalupe Church celebrating 85 years on St. Paul West Side. Qué chévere, mira, ahí está la, la reina de, 
the uh, Our Lady Guadalupe's pageant, right? Así es. And then uh, one of the established churches is on the west side. Mr. Cruz, Grand Marshal, has been heavily involved in the church for years. Pero qué, qué bonito. Mira ese desfile con ese carro ahí yeah. representando a la reina de la Iglesia de Guadalupe. Por, felicidades a todos los miembros de Lady Guadalupe Church. Aquí tenemos, uh, después tenemos a Wells Fargo. Uh, mira los caballos que tienen Wells Fargo. So that, that's Wells Fargo, nunca fallan, siempre apoyando. <laughs> El 5 de mayo, siempre están envuel envueltos. Sí, sí, sí. So this is what is about Wells Fargo. Well, Wells Fargo, um, its founder helped uh, found Northwest Bank. Uh, making the West Side old pioneers. So 25 later, uh, years later, Wells Fargo Express Business arriving agent J.E. Cruz and opened up on Hennepin Avenue. And uh, Wells Fargo stagecoach rolls through the St. Paul celebrating Cinco de Mayo each year. Y por ahí vimos pasando a Post Consumer Brands. Mira, Post Consumer Brands is a sponsor for this year's Cinco de Mayo. Qué Mira qué lindo carro. Cereales. Cereales, ¿verdad? <laughs> so eso fue Post Consumer Brands. Ahí la vemos, mira qué rico. Qué bonito, qué bonito ordenar su carro. Flow, ¿verdad? Y detrás de ellos, ay, a mi equipo favorito, que vienen por ahí. My favorite team's up next in the parade, and that is the Minnesota Twins. Así es, I está. See. Estamos viendo ahora mismo Minnesota Twins Baseball. Por ahí tenemos a quien estará uno de los representantes tenemos. latinos que es nuestro Miguel Ramos. Miguel Ramos is the director of diversity marketing with the Minnesota Twins, el Boricua. Y también ahí en el, en el truck tenemos a DJ Ángel, con lo, <laughs> el DJ del latino de los Minnesota Twins. Así es, mira que no falla, él ETC. está allí. Hi, hi Ángel, entonces hi. él está allí participando, haciendo el sonido para los Minnesota Twins. Epa. Así que felicidades. ¿Quién más tenemos a mí, María Isa? We have coming through is the the, uh, Rebecca Noker for City Council. Yes, yes, Rebecca Noker is a council member representing our Ward 2 living on the west side. Exactamente, y puedo decir y compartir que ella ha sido representando nuestra ciudad de la San Pablo y ha hecho tremendo trabajo. Felicidades, muchas gracias, Rebecca Noker, nuestra City Council. I love the... Uh, I, I love to see everyone's involvement each year and their commitment. You know, you see the strength of the twins and uh, I want to highlight a little bit more about their work and, and on our west side and specifically our Latino community. They give so much their diversity marketing to make sure that kids have a good time growing up, not only here, but across the country and enjoying Major League Baseball. Y sabes que me encanta cuando hacen una, un evento, el, el, los Twins hacen un evento de diversidad y invitan a toda la comunidad todos, cada año. Así todos. que gracias, Miguel Ramos, por encargarte de hacer esto posible. Y bueno, ¿qué vemos acá, María Isa? What do we have right there? This is uh, the looks, Wells Fargo. This is field. still Wells Fargo. They're making their way up. They're making their rounds with their caballos. Y ahí hay un perrito también. Adentro, mira. Lo que me he dado cuenta cada año que estoy haciendo este, anunciando el desfile, que Will Fargo is so involved in the Cinco de Mayo, so I want to say thank you so much for supporting supporting the community. Así que felicidades yeah. al equipo de Wells Fargo por ese patrocinio que ofrece cada año y apoya al festival de Cinco de Mayo aquí en el West Side de St. Paul. Seguimos y continuamos acá, María Isa, porque este es el desfile y solo el comienzo. Tenemos una fiesta toda la tarde, so we want to invite people to come over. We're going to be here until 6 o'clock with a celebration of Festival Cinco de Mayo. I'm looking forward to seeing Chico Chavez's band at 3 o'clock. Yes, that's going to be on the, what is the stage, by Chorus? By, yep, 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 by Chorus. All right, we still have Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca Noker. So we oh, we good, right? We yeah. Estamos aquí viendo cómo está llegando la gente apoyando a Rebecca, nuestra City Council. Ahí va pasando con todo su equipo. Y de veras, muchas gracias por el alto trabajo. ¿Quién más? Mira, creo que se acerca otro grupo. Ya oh, yeah. Aquí. Here we got the West Side Summit. West Side dancers and walkers coming through. West Side Summit is a K-6 through charter school entering fifth year of excellence in education right here on the West Side. Uh, make the climb with them. Free tuition, free meals, and free transportation. Uh, longer school days and longer school year. West Side Summit is located in the former St. Matthew's School. Uh, but uh, great commitment to our 
children here in the community of the West Side. Así que ya saben, West Side Summer, para ustedes que quieren registrar a sus hijos, esta es una escuela elemental que ayuda, es un charter school, y tienen este, información bilingüe, así que para ustedes que hablan español, los invitamos para que visiten the West Side Summer. Continuamos con más, por ahí veo el siguiente grupo. Mira qué chulo ese niño celebrando el 5 de mayo. Él viene bien feliz y bien so proud about being a 5 de mayo celebration. So estamos haciendo un, estamos viendo un performance ahí. Sí, sí, right. We have a, the uh, Sigma Alpha chapter, Sigma Lambda Gamma sorority uh, founded at the University of Iowa, both historically Latino based, gammas and betas work towards their principles of community services and awareness of their cultura. Participating at this event is something that they have done for 15 years as a tradition to celebrate our Latino heritage. And right behind them, their Sigma go ahead, dance in with their stuck team. They're always a highlight of my year to see what they're bringing, keeping it moving. Yes. No sé si ya, oh, todavía siguen haciendo su oh, presentación yeah, yeah. allí ellos. Eso es Sigma Alpha Charter. Así que denle un aplauso porque ellos están haciendo ahí su presentación. Mira qué chicos, ahí bailando, dando todo su talento, demostrando que sí pueden bailar. All right. Mira, creo que pronto llega por aquí en la siguiente lista. A ver, vamos a ver si se, se están dando por ahí The Hands of Honduras. So vamos a hacer uh, un anuncio que tenemos en manos fuera de Honduras. Sí. So creo que viene más adelante porque están en la lista, pero ahora creo que estoy viendo... Ahí están. Es verdad, sí, Honduras. Solidarity. So I, I, share something? I, definitely. Um, the Hands of Honduras is aiming to bring awareness to provide funding and aid to Honduras. Uh, there was a phenomenal, phenomenal event that they hosted yesterday that I was able to attend featuring uh, members from their uh, organization, not just here locally, but from Honduras. A great performance that was put together by uh, uh, workers for Peace, and we want to give a, a big shout out to Hands Off Honduras uh, organization. Uh, so, permíteme, ah, mira que tienen aquí para las personas que hablan español, manos fuera de Honduras. Este es uno, somos minnesotanos organizándonos para un cambio de la política estadounidense hacia Honduras. Y ese grupo de, allí defiende los derechos del pueblo hondureño a la vida de su territorio y agua limpia. Así que, felicidades, manos fuera de Honduras. ¿Quién más tenemos a continuación? Aquí tenemos a Robbinsdale, Spanish Immersion, que está llegando. Mira, qué lindo. Robbinsdale, Spanish Immersion is a community that promotes passion for the Spanish language and cultura. Their mission is to inspire students to achieve academic excellence while becoming respectful, responsible, and honest in ever-changing global society. We are about to celebrate 30 years of Spanish immersion education in Robbinsdale. Wonderful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so Así mismo es Robinsdale Spanish Immersion. So, ahí está, es lo que estamos viendo ahora mismo. So, así que también viene otra presentación. So, this is the one. Por ahí vienen los alegres bailadores de Minnesota. Exactamente, los baile, alegres bailadores, ellos vienen haciendo su presentación. Por ahí tenemos a Wendy Quesada que Wendy. está haciendo esta presentación. Wendy. Hey. Y así, Becky, felicidades, alegres bailadores, siempre haciendo eso. Ellos están por ahí en la iglesia de Lady Guadalupe Church. Y celebrando 40 años aquí en Minnesota, en las ciudades gemelas, con sus tradiciones folclóricas de México. Qué bello. Uno de mis favoritos del desfile del 5 de mayo cada año. Qué precioso. Por ahí vamos a mandar a Gracie para tener unas entrevistas. We're sending Gracie off to the parade to do some interviews with these wonderful, wonderful organizations and community leaders that are involved. And I'm finally we've got my uh, my host of Latina Theory, Ariana Henis, la chingona chicana here. Happy to be here. As our wonderful Mayor Melvin Carter is walking up next. Uh, newly elected Mayor Melvin Carter is our first uh, mayor, black mayor, our first mayor POC, and such a great, great hermano to our community before he took his leadership as mayor. Ariana, welcome to Cinco de Mayo's West Side. Oh, it's so cool so to be here, right? The energy is great, y'all. 
Amazing, amazing. Shout out to Melvin Carter. I'm just so happy about all the work that he's Me been able too. to contribute to Me and too. highlight and bring forth, you know. Never misses a beat, never misses a beat. Yes, uh, here, my name is Maria Isa, uh, Latina Theory. Um, and I'm a long time West Sider, West Side for life, no matter where you are. And it's great to be here in Barrio Oeste of District del Sol. And to my right, I have. My name is Ariana Hennis, and I am the co host of Latina Theory, along with Maria Isa. Um, I'm really happy to be here. I'm actually. Um, 612 all the way, but you know, <laughs> love the collaboration, love to be here celebrating mi gente no matter where we're at. I'm a Chicana and it's a great day for Cinco. And I'm going to get back to the parade. We've got St. Paul Fire Department providing all hazardous protection to the city of St. Paul. These are our true heroes of the community that never miss a call to ensure safety and are there to protect and are there to save lives. Give it up for the St. Paul Fire Department. Who we're right, actually, Ariana, right in front of. <laughs> yeah, we are in front of the fire station. <laughs> they came in hard, too. There are so many trucks and volunteers. Oh, yeah, definitely. They make sure that they definitely represent. And I see the Rosales family. I see Joaquin Rosales, Mr. Fireman from the West Side, definitely on board. Right so beautiful. I love just seeing all the, the diverse the diversity here on the west side and the representation who come to celebrate, you know, our Latino culture, our orgullo. You know, tell us a little bit about the Cinco de Mayo's history, Ariana. So Cinco de Mayo was actually um, a holiday that was um, in some ways made up. It's not celebrated in Mexico and it's not Independence Day. <laughs> uh, and I just want to make sure to clarify that. Yes, uh, But in the United States, it actually became a capital campaign for uh, businesses to make money on that day. Um, and eventually how it has evolved has really become a day where we center celebrating um, uh, not only like Chicano and Mexican history within the United States and outside of it, but just Latinidad in general, especially in a state like Minnesota where our communities are growing but also smaller there's a big solidarity I think in a lot of Latinx communities um, and so Cinco becomes a day where we all come out the Boricuas the Mexicanos the Colombianos everybody comes out to celebrate each other so beautiful I love I love to see the leadership of uh, the St. Paul Fire Department and uh, I see Joaquin Rosales and Don Fran Joaquin is a community leader on the on the west side right his parents, okay, Don Rosales and Doña Rosales, have mm. uh, been committed to the West Side and they've done so much for our community through education, founding Academia Cesar Chavez, and so much more. And next up, we have... We have St. Paul Public Works. But I'm going to throw it over to Gracie, yes. who's right in the street with Head Start. Let's make it happen. Gracie, over to you. Gracie. I think they're setting up over there with Gracie. We're right now looking at St. Paul Public Works. These are the men and women who keep our city clean and safe through maintaining our beautiful calles, our beautiful streets. And right now we're also seeing the Head Start bus. So Ariana, I don't know if, while we're waiting for Gracie to get together with the representation of Head Start, I am so hungry. Tell, tell, you smell the food? Of course I smell the food. I smell <laughs> it walking up, everybody. If you're watching the parade and you have some time, you've been second guessing whether you want to step out your house on Saturday afternoon, don't guess anymore. Come to Cinco de Mayo on the west side, District of Soul. Get Absolutely. some amazing food. Support your local businesses. Absolutely. I know El Burrito Mercado is representing hard, con always. so much tasty food, always. Always, always. Missy Silva and the Familia Silva, I'll be over there to get my elote and my margarita 
uh, after. Absolutely. I intentionally <laughs> had a very light breakfast because I just kept thinking about elote. So what Juanilla should also be saying is you should come here with some good hunger to try some delicious food and support your local businesses here on the West St. Paul. Right on. So here we have Community Action Head Start once again. They've got all their buses loading in. And I cannot stress the importance of early childhood education and how important Head Start is for that. So important, so important. Um, and going in from early education, we've got Metropolitan State University, who's Metro. right behind them. Give it up for Metro State. Love Metropolitan State University. Uh, shout out to my mom who's tuning in. She is a top 25 alumni of Metropolitan State oh, really? University. And I got to just squeeze that in there because they show so much support for mm -hmm. our Latino community, uh, all of our diverse communities here in the Twin Cities. I was going to say, Metro is like well known for being really like centered in the heartland of the city, right? Oh, and yeah. all the diverse communities that come with that and really working towards um, building and and having all of our people get access to higher education. Yes, Metropolitan State University, a comprehensive urban university committed to meeting the higher educational needs of the Twin Cities and greater metropolitan population. So shout out and give it one love. Un amor a Metropolitan State University. Oh, and right, be right behind them, we're gonna continue with higher education. Yes, right on. Que sí, que pa'lante, adelante. We've got Century College. Tell us a little bit about Century College, Adi. Uh, Century College is also a um, local college, um, also you know, dedicated to supporting um, all of our folks. Similar, I think similar to Metro. It's very inspiring in how they prepare to empower students to continue and further their education here. Oh, there's Gracie. All right, great. Programas, eh, eh, ayuda financiera. Algo importante saber es que la educación es para todos, sin importar el estatus migratorio. Eh, nosotros les ayudamos a conseguir becas y, este, y estamos muy contentos de in incrementar la población latina porque no hay muchos estudiantes ahorita en Metropolitan que sean latinos y pues estamos viendo muchos latinos que están graduándose. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Sí. So, continuamos aquí con más y esto es, seguimos acá con la escuela de Century College. Eso, gracias Gracie. Uh, and right after Century, we've got the Neighborhood House, right on the Neighborhood House. For more than a century, mm -hmm. the NAIB has supported familias in times of transition or need for more than 50 cultural and ethnic populations, drawing people from diverse communities in San Pablo and beyond. The demographic makeup of the NABE services population have changed with each successive wave of newcomers, from Mexican immigrants after World War II, mm -hmm. Hmong refugees in the 70s and 80s, and Somali and Karen most recently. What has not changed is their unbending commitment to help families move mm -hmm. from survive to thrive. And I know Gracie, is she out there going to Interviewed, I think, Neighborhood Interview? House in a little bit. Right on. I love the Neighborhood House. Much love. It just like just hearing and learning about it, uh, an organization that's really embracing the immigrants of our community and really supporting that. And youth programming. I need, uh, The Neighborhood House just opened its doors to a brand new mobile jazz studio through the Twin Cities, a partnership with Twin Cities Mobile Jazz. You project. had told me about that. Yeah. Do you want to, how did the launch go and everything? I know actually um, uh, Mayor Carter was also there Mayor to support Carter, the effort. Yes, he was. He was there at the Neighborhood House and showcasing how important youth arts can further our development as a whole and, mm -hmm. and express our creativity. And, uh, uh, continue to further our children through expressing creatively um, towards higher education. And so if you have children, there's free programming at the Neighborhood House, uh, after school programming. They want to learn how to play an instrument or don't, can't afford an instrument. Mm. The services between Neighborhood House and its partners. Whoa, we've been we around for 121 years here on the west side, but we're also on the east side in the west 7th neighborhood in St. Paul. And we help people figure out what their dreams are and reach them. We teach classes. We help people with food. We help people when they're struggling with their housing. We help people that are struggling with their immigration. And we try to help people um, figure out what they want to, what they need and how they can get their needs met. Thank you for supporting the Cinco de Mayo. All right. Aquí tenemos 
Uh, Miss Minnesota Latinas. We have the Miss Minnesota Latina representing Cinco de Mayo from all over the state. Ike was able to be a judge for this year's. and uh, How I, was it? It was awesome. I see that we have the representante of Colombia, La Colombiana, who took the seat Got it. of... Um, of Miss Minnesota Latina will be representing well, they looked really fly. They were looking very fly as always and Beautiful. as expected. Beautiful. And up next, we have the St. Paul Saints Baseball Club. Hey. St. Paul Saints are an independent uh. league professional baseball team located in Lower Town, St. Paul. And they just opened the new CHS field uh, back in 2015. So they're going on three years this season. Make sure you step out. If you're in Minneapolis, cross over to catch a Saints ball, tea, ball game. You won't won't deny it. Uh, love the St. Paul Saints. It's such a fun fun time to go catch a game um, in their in their stadium. And we know we're desperate for the good weather in Minnesota and wanting to enjoy that. Definitely. So make sure to get out there. And right behind the St. Paul Saints, we've got the Community of Saints Regional Catholic School that are riding on Captain Ken's truck. So give it up for the community of Saints Regional Catholic Schools, which is built of uh, the many Catholic schools that have passed over 100 years of education in the West Side area who have now collaborated together to continue oh, really? their uh, parishioners to be able to study. Talk to us about St. Paul Saints. St. Paul Saints. When do we have a St. Saints? Say what about the St. Paul Saints? St. Paul Saints, the best baseball in the Twin Cities guaranteed. The most fun you'll ever have in a ball game in your life. Same for SPNN. Thank you. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Gracie having a ball out there with. Baila, baila, Gracie. If there's anybody who has uh, energy every Cinco de Mayo, getting ready to interview and showcase our community's great spirit is definitely Gracie from Paraiso Music. So once again, my name is Maria Isa here with my co-host Ariana Hennis on the West Sides District del Sol. Cinco de Mayo. We're so happy to be here today representing um, our people, representing Latina Theory, a Spanglish podcast, Sin Vergüenza. Yes. Thank you, SPNN, once again for having us. Absolutely. We're going to so keep much. it moving. That was, once again, the Community of Saints Regional Catholic School. With so many families and cute children. Yeah. Look at them. You're also looking at two women here that went through Catholic school education. Well, my school that, you know, St. Matthew's actually is a part of the oh, Community really? of Saints. Yeah, so that, I guess, you know, my alma mater of, of uh, St. Matthew's Catholic School is now uh, one of the three schools, a part of the Community of Saints. So right on for continuing that great education here on the West Side. And up next, we've got coming up next, Ariana. We have a... Uh, oh, Academia... Cesar Chavez. ACC, Academia Cesar Chavez is a pre-K through sixth grade elementary charter school located on the east side of St. Paul with a mission to provide a quality dual language education. Academia Cesar Chavez admits students of any race, color, creed, religion, or national ethnic origin. And it was founded by a great west side or community leader, Ramona Rosales. Uh, Wonderful. Amazing. And I know that actually Gracie's going to be interviewing them shortly. So we'll keep talking and then in a little bit it'll cut off into a quick little interview with Gracie and uh, Academia Cesar Chavez. Right on. Love to Academia ACC. Shout out to Ramona Rosales, Katie de Avina who have been there since day one. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it's a phenomenal school, phenomenal, excellent leadership. Uh, to ensure that our cultura and our leaders are represented. Yeah, because their curriculum also centers that, right? Educating yeah. um, our children on their history. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. And their Latinx history. Such an amazing growth of uh, seeing it where it started and now where it is. Uh, just a great, great, great student body, great faculty, great staff that are really, really caring for our children and our community. I just love the beauty, I love them. They were just shouting, si sí, se puede, si sí, se That's puede. That's so great. Which is the school's uh, slogan uh, based off of the uh, Cesar Chavez's quote and the migrant farm workers union. Yeah, that actually President, oh, uh, well, former President Obama used to adapt for his campaign as well. Yes, we can, that actually came from that. <laughs> yes, it did. So if you didn't know, now you know. That's, that's uh, Cesar Chavez. 
We've got Gracie there. Claro que sí, gracias. Yo soy Rudy Viña, uno de los maestros ahí de Academia Cesa Chávez. Estamos localizados ahí en el 18 de la Cross Avenue, acá en East Side de St. Paul. Este, por favor, somos una escuela de, de pre-kinder hasta octavo. Y este, bueno, mucho, mucho que tenemos aquí del desfile de nuestros este, padres, nuestros niños, nuestra cultura de César Chávez, ¿no? Most definitely, we are Academia Cesar Chávez Charter School located at 1801 La Crosse Avenue on the east side of St. Paul. Uh, we are a pre-K through eighth grade school, uh, Latino-based, and we are just happy to be here with our families, with our children, and enjoying, enjoying this day. Cesar Chávez vive, la lucha sigue, sigue. Muchas gracias, Rudy. Continuamos con más. Gracias, aquí seguimos con SPN. Amazing. Love to Rudy and his family. I saw his little mijito there. Well, oh, that's so beautiful. Beautiful. I just love the fact that, you, like you said, Ariana, you know, this is a holiday that is, uh, you know, traditionally for our Latinos here in the States that have yes. really been able to build and unify through days like Cinco de Mayo. Absolutely. Um, and, and, and you're really seeing an effort by the community, like Mexican, Chicano, like all the Latinx communities to really reclaim this holiday on a day where we center our history and our stories. And that's been also really refreshing. Yes. All right. And so who is next? We've got a uh, jump in here with the Minnesota Department of Transportation. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh, see their banner being held. Yeah, that's the department, Minnesota Department of Transportation. See a lot of these youngins here who are looking forward to getting their permits and their licenses this summer. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's just, I mean, this is also a great opportunity for us to get to know the different components of a um, city government and what they do and how they function for, to make the communities that we want. All right. And next up we have a really incredible van decked out with all the Chicano Mexican pride you can think of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. And here we go bringing in. All right. All right. We have the West Side Boys and Girls Club. Uh, it's an uh, incredible organization whose mission statement is to enable all young people, especially those who need Um, the most to reach their full potential as productive, caring, and responsible citizens. Um, the West Side Boys Club, Boys and Girls Club, has been in the West Side since 1970. A lot of organizations with deep roots and histories here. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, definitely. Love to the West Side Boys and Girls Club. I just keep flashing back to my childhood here on the West Side, Adiana, and yeah. all of these amazing organizations, like you said, that have continued to grow and uh, and sh strengthen their efforts to give back. It's beautiful to see. And uh, oh, up next we've got GAP, Guadalupe Alternative Programs. Way right. to go, GAP always is strong here. They're with a great artistic presence here every year at the oh, Cinco de Mayo Festival. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. GAP, Guadalupe Alternative School, is located in St. Paul's West Side neighborhood since 1967. Founded by Sister M. Giovanito, address, addressing the high number of secondary school dropouts at the time. Over the years, GAP's focus has grown to serve an area throughout the metro area. Programming includes not only education, but also adult basic education, training, mentoring, and post-secondary transition and support. And GAP. I know Gracie's also going to be interviewing um, someone from GAP, so we'll be able to hear a little bit more about them, which will be great. But right now, I'm just impressed by the beautiful art. Yeah, all the Being puppet display, mache. The pu it's incredible, the, the puppets. Mache with the puppetry. And Las Catrinas. Que lindo, que bello. Just beautiful. The colors. And that's all created by students at GAP. Really? Yes, yes. I mean, they've had by far one of the most creative like um, sections in the in the parade. All of it has been fantastic. There's Gracie. There we go. Hope you programs is an alternative school for students in high school and, and adults age 24. We're located right on concert. These are shops and how right behind Our Lady of Guadalupe Church. Thank you so much for coming. All right, it's been in. We continue with Cinco de Mayo. Oh, next up I see is uh, Betty McCullum. 
All right. Congresswoman for St. Paul, DFL, and I see Ramsey County Commissioner Rafael Ortega. Ramsey County Attorney John Choi. All right, all the folks that are representing. Tina Smith. Running for U.S. Senator. Yes. Our current U.S. Senator, who's also running to make sure she gets elected. She was recently appointed by Governor Dayton. Strong presence of a DFL endorsed representations from not only local politics but also national. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, folks that are representing us. Make sure to get to know these folks that are representing us so that we can hold them accountable and build with them. Correct, correct. You know, I think the importance is learning about who you have time. I mean, November is just right around the corner. Exactly. Uh, I know we're in May and enjoying the bright, you know, springtime, but there's a uh, there's a uh, up oh, there's Amy Klobuchar and Tina Smith and walking in. Gracie's gonna talk, I think, a little bit to Senator Amy Klobuchar. There's Amy Klobuchar right there. And for folks who don't know, Senator Amy Klobuchar is running for re-election this year in November. Represented. Rafael Ortega, Ramsey County Commissioner, and Congresswoman Betty McCullum. I want to give a special shout out to uh, our state representative representing the West Side District, uh, Carlos Mariani, who's a longtime West Sider, and I know that his presence is here in spirit. He's in Boston celebrating his uh, youngest son's graduation from oh, Northeastern really? University. Oh, so that's really important. I see that his name is mentioned here on our lineup, and his presence is always here in his community of the West Side. Don't ever want to forget the strong work that our state rep, Carlos Mariani, has given to uh, our community, specifically um, his focus on education in our communities yeah, of color. Yeah, he's been an ongoing leader of it. And also, this is just a plug-in as someone who works in local politics for our people to be thinking about running for office because we need that uh, kind of representation. That's how we get uh, Representative Carlos Mariani is when our folks also decide to run for office, people that are born and raised in the communities that they're representing. So get plugged in. All right, who's next after all of our elected officials? Well, we've got some Santas coming through here representing traditional Mexica culture through dance and expression of the drum. Que bello. This is always my favorite part. I mean, the reasoning of. How we establish community comes from the heart of the village. Absolutely. And we're unifying so many villages here, but the sound of those drums, those sonidos, represent the traditional Mexica culture. The sound of the drum unifies the remembrance of ancestors. Absolutely. And continuing to respect our mother tierra. watching and uh, deciding to walk down here, stop by El Burrito and grab me and Ariana Henny some melotes. We would really appreciate it, actually. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> que bello. And we're now looking at, still looking at here. You know, it's so incredible also to see how um, these, you know, our group of dancers that you're seeing all over, um, 
the Twin Cities, St. Paul, you know, are really also nourishing the next generation of leaders. They're oh, yeah. full of young people that they're mentoring to be proud of their cultura and their roots and their ancestors. And it's just absolutely beautiful. It's, an, it's, a, it's a web of entire families, like, going through Nanta, you know? Oh, definitely. And the, the ceremonia and respecting the customs and, you know, the symbolic messages and meanings of their vestidos and the respect towards honoring those who have come before us. And I can smell the copal burning. Yeah, I can too. Beautiful. The drums sound amazing. The children are so engaged, like you said, Adriana. Uh, so this, uh, this is uh, uh, an alliance of groups, uh, Mexicayolot, Calpo. Uh, and Calpulli Yasenoshli, who are here celebrating Cinco de Mayo today. Wonderful, it's so beautiful. I'm really happy that we got to know the names of the incredible groups that are yes. a part of uh, today. Thank you. Because each of them are unique and wonderful and, and need to have their name recognized. And, so. it's, and it's beautiful to see unifying community once again, unifying different sides under the sound of the drum. I always talk to my students when I work with them and saying, regardless mm -hmm. of where you come from, what language you speak, the importance is to recognize the drum within you. We all have a heartbeat, and that shows cases here at Cinco de Mayo on the west side each and every year. Que bello. <laughs> oh, so cute to see the babies, Adi. That's what I'm saying. It's like a whole family affair, and it's so important. That kind of development in community building is essential. Um, for our people to thrive. Right on. We're gonna keep moving along while those danzantes are continuing to dance throughout the whole. And blessing us with their copal. Yes, yes. Throughout the whole parade. I mean, that's a lot of work. That's the other thing I always think about. That is a serious workout. Definitely, definitely. I mean, you see the legs on some of them? Look, and, and the they arms. make it look so effortless, yeah. but you know it's a workout. Puro guerreros. Exactly. Next up, we've got the Academics Arts High School. You see their float and their artistic com contributions. Got a giant piñata. <laughs> I love the colors of it. <laughs> right? I'm really surprised, actually, that there's been no little kids who've wanted to break that piñata. That's <laughs> all I'm piñata. saying, because that's like a dream, a giant piñata. Oh, we have the progressive West Side Ministry of Cherokee Park United Church. Next to their float. And I see little lamb chops over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cherokee Park United Church is located right here, St. Paul's West Side. I appreciate the bubbles. People always underestimate what bubbles can do on a parade. No, That's all I'm it's saying. It's so pretty. I swear, you see a bubble pass by, it just puts a smile on I your know. Face. <laughs> Look at the sun. Such a great day for a parade. It is. It's a great day for Latina Theory here to be hosting with SPNN covering Cinco de Mayo. Again, uh, many thanks to SPNN and to all the community leaders who help put Cinco de Mayo together here in West St. Paul. Yes, thank you. We've got just seen the church, uh, the United Church of Cherokee Park. And next we have, oh, honoring. Yeah, we are honoring Miguel, Miguel. Gonzalez. Um, so um, it seems like this is an opportunity to really raise awareness of uh, epilepsy. Uh, Miguel uh, Gonzalez passed away due to it. Um, and so here we are today. Um, Honoring Miguel Gonzalez and his familia. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Liz Flores, Star Tribune in the house, <laughs> passing by. I see you, Liz. <laughs> Wonderful. So a big love um, and much honor to Miguel Gonzalez and to his family. And thank you so much for including him in the parade and make sure we, uh, we raise awareness about epilepsy in our comunidades, Definitely. what that means. All right, who do we got next up here? We're still seeing some of the mm -hmm. the folks honoring Miguel Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. 
such a great, strong presence. I'm so happy to see how many people are standing up and honoring. Absolutely. And bringing awareness. We're still seeing that right there. Next up, we've got so many beautiful, beautiful organizations and community leadership representing here. If you're just tuning in, you're tuning in live to the Cinco de Mayo's West Side Parade broadcasted here at SPNN. My name is Maria Isa. And my name is Ariana Hennies. And we've got Gracie de Paraiso Music running around, getting ready to interview more people that are marching in the parade. We've got Boca Chica restaurant being shown right now, right in the heart of Dish del Sol. I can smell their food too. Murray, this whole theme of smelling the food is very strong. I, I feel mean, you. I, I feel, feel you. We're just being blessed right Mujer. now with that too. Mujer, it's just completely. I know. My stomach is growling. So if you're if you're walking down, stop by <laughs> SPNN's tent. Uh, we're gonna keep reiterating the need that if you know y'all want to get some taquitos or elote and share some love right here with with us. Yeah, that's exactly. All right. Oh, we've got the St. Paul Postmaster's Office, the U.S. Post Office, and our St. Paul male men and women. Those are our guys that make sure we get our mail every day, and they definitely are enjoying the sunlight just as much as we are now. Oh, I can. Again, I always admire how I see them out there, though, in blizzards <laughs> delivering the yes. mail. That's a whole other, like... Our post folks in Minnesota need to get props because Definitely. that weather is, in, that's intense. Definitely. I mean, come on. Who else goes through 18 inches of snow in April to make sure that your mail is delivered? <laughs> exactly. Our post men and women. So big thanks to the St. Paul Postmaster's Office for being a part of Cinco de Mayo here on the west side. Here we go. We see some of their plant manager and employees who are continuing mm -hmm. commitment to our community. When I was a kid, I never really understood why like the post office or like public works would march, but really it's to raise awareness of their existence. Like we actually don't know how much these like, right? um, functions of government impact their lives. And it's important for our gente to get to know it, you know, to get their needs met. And up next, we have SPPS, St. Paul Public Schools. And I think Gracie is going to take, take it over with interviewing some reps from SPPS. There it is. Que bello. SPPS wishes everyone a happy Cinco de Mayo, especially our West Side Schools, Riverview, Cherokee, Open World, and Humboldt. Hey. <laughs> Get you low. And you're seeing all that Mexican pride. The Latinx pride in the schools. I love it. <laughs> all the little kids con sus sombreros, banderas. There's Gracie. So vamos a hablar with St. Paul Public Schools, so tell us about it. Déjanos saber acá es PNN. Perfecto. Hola, ¿qué tal a todos? Sí, venimos participando hoy como las escuelas públicas de San Pablo, uno de los distritos más grandes, lógico, aquí en San Pablo, ¿verdad? Lógico, Mónica, ¿qué onda? Eh, felices de estar aquí participando. También nuestros amigos de Educación Temprana están apoyando el día de hoy. Felices de participar nuevamente en este desfile del 5 de mayo. Muchas gracias por apoyarnos, aquí estamos celebrando el 5 de mayo. Adelante, felicidades. Gracias. Gracias a ustedes, gracias. Right on, SPPS, St. Paul Public Schools. And coming up right now, we've got West Side's own representation of SPPS, Humboldt High School, serving children in grades 6 through 12 here on St. Paul's West Side. We've got the marching band and ROTC. There we go. Right on. Way to go, Hawks. Go, Hawks. Shout out to the Humboldt Hawk seniors who will be graduating. And their commitment to excelling in education and being role models to our children here on the West Side. Absolutely. So, once again, you're tuning into 
Westside Cinco de Mayo Parade here on what I like to call the best side, the west side. Cesar Chavez Street, Wabasha. We're looking at Humboldt Hawks ROTC Left. program. There we go. Left. 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 So much love to our young people, really, that are going to school, are studying, are also getting active in so many ways. Um, you know, I feel like this past years, I've been really seeing young people taking the leadership in our movements oh, yeah, to better sure. our communities, and it's been great. We've got some humble cheerleaders. Look at those colors, though. Oh, yeah, orange I and black, it. definitely. Mm -hmm. Once again, Humboldt High School is a St. Paul public school serving children in grade six through 12. So not only a high school, but also a middle school. Assuming it's one of the larger uh, schools in St. Paul. It's, you know, our, our representation in SPBS here on the west side. And one of the longest has a legacy of, you know, serving children. Many family members who graduated from Humboldt High School. Got it. Go Hawks! And got the Humboldt Hawks marching band. Oh, they're coming in. There they they're coming in. I I just seen the banners. So it's probably one of the la like one of the things I regret is I was never in a, in a marching band or any of that in high school <laughs> at all. I hear them. I do too, and it's a good day. It's really nice because we have the sun out, and then we get some breaks with the clouds too, so it doesn't get too hot. Yeah, it's a great it's day for Cinco. Oh, exactly. Get the that comes in a little bit, and I know the mascots enjoying that. <laughs> I know that is such a good point. <laughs> Shout out to all the mascots of the parade today. Yeah. <laughs> yep, there's the hawk. <sighs> Again, something else I wish I would have done in high school: worn that mascot. Oh, really? <laughs> I just would have wanted to be able to tell that story. Yeah, where no one knows it's you. <laughs> yes, I love that. I love that idea. So it's, it's a free ticket to just go crazy. <laughs> but you know, mascots give that pride. You know, they're the ones that they're the they're the leader, team leader. Ibn Hawk, humble talk, and marching band. Look at their marching outfits. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. Growing up as a kid, I always loved waiting to watch. If we weren't in the parade, mm -hmm. definitely Humble Band had the had the highlight as well. Here we go. See some flute players. Oh yeah, that's the west side. Someone says, what does the west side look like? I say, it looks like the sun. <laughs> it shines on everybody. Yes. You know, shout out to the mascot, I'm really getting it oh, with yeah. the marching band. <laughs> <laughs> get it, get it. For their skills and also incredible uh, outfits. Yeah, their gear is their gear is on point. Right on. Go humble. So adorable to see the children on the sidelines getting into it, clapping their hands. Definitely influencing the children to maybe one day be humble hawks band members as well. Beautiful. Mira el nene, mira el nene. Got little babies dancing. Little babies dancing. Look at that beautiful Mexican flag. Get it. Love that red, white, oh, and green. Look at that. Representing. 
Right on Humble Tide. All right. <laughs> Next up, we've got St. Paul Riverview, Westside School of Excellence. I see the Tigers. The center of Hispanic culture in St. Paul is Riverview Westside School of Excellence, truly the center of Westside's community. Their two-way Spanish-English immersion program prepares both native English and native Spanish speakers to be proficient in both idiomas. Last one, an interview, humble, all humble. There's Gracie. Working hard to get some interviews for SPNN. <laughs> Go ahead, Gracie. We had Cherokee Park School as well, celebrating Cinco de Mayo on the west side. Cherokee Heights is a school on the west side. We have pre-K through fifth grade. Um, it's transitioning to Montessori right now, so there's super exciting things happening. The staff loves the students. We have a strong community. It's a great place to be. Come on, support Cherokee Heights. Absolutely. Thank you for coming. Thank you. This is Cinco de Mayo, SPNN. Thank you. Right on. We have Highland Park. Middle school. It's also a Spanish immersion program school. Highland Park. There they are. Once again, these are all schools from St. Paul Public School. And I love how many Spanish immersion programs we have because you know it's important for folks to be able to know more than one language. Oh, yeah. It's an absolute absent. And to be able to learn a language, you know, for Spanish, which is, um, you know, culturally rooted for Latinx folks, is absolutely beautiful. of energy yes, <laughs> today in the parade. <laughs> the adrenaline is there once again. They were ready and amped up. You're tuning into Cinco de Mayo's West Side Parade and we are seeing the blend of SPPS, St. Paul Public Schools here, their presence here at the parade. We've shown Humboldt High School, Highland Park Middle School, Cherokee Heights Elementary, and we've got Riverview's West Side School of Excellence. I love the, I love, I love just the pride that the kids have. All the chanting, chanting's yeah. so great. Songs, chanting, everything is beautiful. And you just see just how, how excited they are to be here. Yes, they really were. Riverview, and it looks like we've got Adam Spanish Immersion School as well, which is I believe the first immersion program here. In what state? Um, in St. Paul. Oh, really? In, in, in the state. In the state. Oh, Minnesota. really? Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. So I want to say there were over 30 years. <laughs> All right, we hear those chants again from our kids. Look, the mascot of this school is smart. <laughs> they said, the flow is where I'm staying at. I just love to see the diversity all coming together through education and excellence. Presente. There we go, once again, Adam School. Spanish Immersion Program. This 
see teachers and parents and students and volunteers that are committed to a dual language bilingual education. We're going to break into an interview with Gracie on Spanish immersion. La Gracie está corriendo por todos los lados. She is. She's working hard for those interviews. All right. Let's bring it over to Gracie with an interview. There's another mascot. We're here for ESPN and we're talking about Adam's Spanish immersion. Yeah, I've been working at Adams for the past couple of years. Um, I love it. It is where I want to be. Um, I was able to student teach there, and I went and did other things, came back, and it's still the place I want to be. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Adams. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Right. SNN, go back to you. Right on. Spanish immersion. Go, Adams. I love the buckets. Got their own little marching band. No, huh? they do. <laughs> Impromptu. It must be exciting for the kids to come out here and show their school pride, their right. brown pride. Love. We have the Washington Tech. ROTC, the Navy Junior ROTC from Washington Technology Magnet School is a citizenship and leadership development program sponsored by the U.S. Navy and SPPS located on the north end of St. Paul. Their unit has 125 cadets enrolled in grades 9 through 12. Shout out to Washington Tech Magnet School. I see some of my students. Go get it. Oh, as part of it? Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. And oh, we've got West Sider of the Year. Hey. West Co. West Sider of the Year, Tanya Galavis. Amazing. Go ahead, girl. We love Tanya Galavis. We do. We do. Her strong leadership as a mujer. Uh, she also is a partner with Fox Face Studios here, a new salon on the West Side. And her contribution to her community as a mother and West Sider showcases in her presence today as she's waving a net convertible. Go ahead, Tanya, we love you. Big up to Wesco, West Side Community Organization, celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Oh, and I love that they did it by celebrating the West Sider of the year. Yeah. For all the contributions that Tanya has had in the community, her leadership, both in her Nazante group as a business leader and so forth. Yep, definitely. Over on, I'm, I'm proud that Wesco is honoring her this year. And behind Wesco, we have the Minnesota State Fair. So, una invitación a todos a la Feria de Minnesota este verano. La Feria de Minnesota está aquí en San Pablo, St. Paul. Dura 12 días durante el final de agosto. Vengan a disfrutar de las comidas, la música y el carnaval en la mejor feria de todos los Estados Unidos, el Minnesota State Fair. Make sure to check it out, mi gente. It yeah. happens in agosto, no? Agosto oh, yeah. y septiembre. So we have the State Fair. We also got Zimmer Law Group. And we also had the Customer Molders Inc. So we have some businesses and other groups starting to come up. Zimmer Law Group is an immigration law firm that recently moved to Minneapolis, or from Minneapolis, excuse me, to St. Paul, and is located now here on the west side. Here's Gracie with an interview with Zimmer Law Group coming up. Gracie. Okay, so estamos aquí con Grupo Zimmer Law Firm, y tenemos a uno de los abogados acá con nosotros. Háblanos. De tu, de tu firma de abogado. Hola, buenos días a todos. Eh, feliz 5 de mayo. Bueno, nosotros somos una firma de abogados de inmigración localizada aquí. Tenemos todo tipo de premios de trabajo, ciudadanía, eh, representación. Cualquier cosa con migración, nosotros, nosotros los ayudamos. Así ya saben, búsquenlo. Ahí está nuestro amigo Y Julie, que no está por ahí, está por ella. Que se la... Ok. Pues muchas gracias. Gracias, gracias a todos. Feliz 5 de mayo. Eh, estén safe. Vamos a seguir. Ah, Dale, pues. Gracias. Gracias. Hey, we're back 
here. Thank you, Gracie. Thank you, Gracie. Next, we have the Renaissance Festival. Also promoting themselves. I can see that. I see some familia here in the house. Shout out to longtime West Sider on both sides. My Mexican prima, Jessica Antanasia Garcia. Shout out to all the Garcias from the West Side. <laughs> Love. Renaissance Festival. Also happens in September. Yes. Great time. Make sure you check it out. And Henry Sibley High School right behind them. All right. With their Latino focus group, Almas. Here, uh, Sibley High School is located in Mendota Heights. Oh, oh, I see the Mexican flag, I see the Boricua flag, I see Tejas. Oh, I see Estudiantes dancing to all of that music. Oh, Pachata, I see El Salvador, <laughs> República Dominicana. This, oh, this is so perfect to exemplify what I was talking to you about, yes. right? Cinco de Mayo is centers like Mexicanos, but it's also become a day to just center Latinidad para todos, you know? Para todos. And behind them is the city of West St. Paul celebrating Cinco de Mayo on the west side. All right. For those of you who don't know, West St. Paul and the West Side, it's not the same thing. I actually did not know that. I'm kidding. I did because my friend here is a West, you know. But please do tell us well, the you difference. Know, West St. Paul, it's its own city, its own municipality. And St. Paul, obviously the capital city. The West Side is a community of St. Paul. And West St. Paul is in a complete different county, you know. West Side, we're on Ramsey County. West St. Paul, Dakota Got County. It. But we're border, we're border uh city so people get and get confused but there's a lot of pride on that got it got it <laughs> I, I could sense it i could sense it was a touchy subject so i had to make sure to ask you about it i <laughs> just get it <laughs> and uh we have current u.s representative from minnesota congressional district tim waltz who's also running for governor this year and uh Tim Waltz, we're gonna have Gracie bring it over to interview Tim Waltz. And that loudness is coming from IBEW, Electricians Union and Minority Electrical Workers. All right, look at that. Talk about the motor. So uh, I think Gracie is gonna wait till the loud motors drive away. <laughs> no, absolutely. For the next interview with Tim Waltz. Good reminder that there is a governor's race happening in our state right now, so make sure to be tuned in, me and the Tim Walls is one of the candidates along with his, uh, uh, along with Peggy Flanagan. And so just really wanted to highlight that there's a governor's race happening in Minnesota that we need to be tuned into and alert oh, yeah. um, so that decisions are not being made for us, but by us. Remember the importance of voting. And for those of you who have never voted before, uh, make sure you can go online and register to vote now. Absolutely. Um, hey, I see my familia. I see my cousin Pablo Caban and his beautiful, beautiful daughter, Sara Elena. Que linda. We've got the 1949 Buick. For the Waltz campaign. Campaign. <laughs> que carro. You know, gotta give them props for that. Hey, uh, you know that. <laughs> if there's anything I know about being a West Sider, although I'm Boricua, I know about the whole Pachuco movement. No, the, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so, okay. That car is a classic right there. <laughs> Bring that. It's, it's making its way down to the car show as well. So if you didn't know, we've got a car show, lowrider car show and bike show happening here at the end of the parade. Um, You've got Unidos. Somos la Fuerza. 
North Central States Regional Council of Carpenters. Headquartered in St. Paul. 25,000 carpenters in six states, including 8,000 here in La Ciudad de Semelas, in the Twin Cities metro area. St. Paul bouncing team is coming up. These guys are always ahead. All right, so a little bit about the bouncing team. The bouncing team that we see coming up was founded in 1886. Long time. Okay, all right. It's a nonprofit organization that performs a variety of aerial, aerial acrobatics at area events throughout the year. Taking its uh, inspiration from an ancient Eskimo hunting tradition, the bouncing team is one of the oldest elements of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Here they go. They're getting ready to bounce for us right here on SPNN. Cinco de Mayo West Side Parade coverage. Whoop, there she goes. She's getting ready. I could do that. We could easily Come do on, that, right, Maria? No, <laughs> Ariana's going to leave us now and go. Oh, of course. There we go. Volunteer. Volunteer, we'll Ariana. Have to go ahead to do that for next year. Uh, behind, we've got the infamous Vulcan crew of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Volcanus and his crew battles to end the cold of winter. We needed them a lot harder this year. <laughs> I, you know, I feel like we need to really help them increase their membership after that winter. That's all I'm saying. They seek to bring the warmth of summer back to the city of St. Paul. All right. And Vulcanus Rex, the 79, Duke of Kleiner, Boron Hot Sparkus, Count of Ashes, Count Embrius, Grand Duke, Fertilius, Pring of Suit, and General Flamius join the Vulcan truck today. Oh, there's a bouncing team being faced up. Special thanks to Gracie of Paraiso Music being here on SPNN. Come and join me for the demo stage. Let them know, let them know, Gracie, let yeah, them so know. We're going to be at the demo stage, so come and join us. We have a lot of going on there. Music, food, El Burrito Mercado have a contest of elotes. Mm. Un, un concurso de elotes, y también tenemos tacos. So come and join us. We are going to be at the demo stage. Gracie from Paraiso Music, I'll invite you guys to join me from now and to 6 o'clock. Thank you, Gracie. Ahí, ahí nos veremos prontito después de, del desfile, que yo y Ariana tenemos una hambre. So shout out to the Familia Silva over at Alberita. We'll be over there shortly. And once again, you were just looking at the St. Paul Winter Carnival's bouncing team, Vulcan crew, and now we're getting ready for the St. Paul Winter Carnival Order of the Royal Guard. A little bit of Order of the Royal Guard, the St. Paul Winter Carnival Protectors of King Boreas. This year celebrating 100 years of protecting Boreas Rex from the Destardly Vulcan. So there's a whole little story, Ariana. Yeah, like unfolding in front of us. Yeah, yeah, right here. And we also have the Klondike Cates. You see the Klondike Cates. Singing, looking fabulous with their feather red scarves. Mira la. <laughs> Getting it. Hey, if you didn't know, uh, Mayor Melvin Carter was junior royalty growing up of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Really? Yeah. So <laughs> go Google it. You'll see some flashback pictures of our mayor of St. Paul, part of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. I love the presence that they're having here. At oh, Paul. I do. I see it. Awesome. So make sure you stop at the demo stage from 1 to 6. So after the parade, after you tune in watching, if you didn't make it here, drive down and catch it from 1 to 6 p.m. by Don Pancho's Bakery uh, to do a demo of your music. Showcase. All right. And here we see the junior royalty of the Winter Carnival. There they go. Like I said, Mayor Melvin Carter used to be uh, a junior. He was, he was a king of the junior royalty. So you never know. Those kids could be mayor one day. Uh, exactly. There you go.
So much amazing things happening here. Hi. A lot of royalty happening here. West Side. <laughs> it's so cool that SPNN invited me and Ariana to be here celebrating Cinco de Mayo with we're, you all. We're having so much fun. So much fun. And our girl Gracie ran over to El Burrito Mercado. She'll be hosting events throughout the whole day alongside other members of the Cinco de Mayo planning committee. We want to recognize all of our beautiful comunidad mm -hmm. and comunidades who are taking part here on the West Side Cinco de Mayo Festival. Got more royalty from St. Paul Winter Carnival's royal family. Mm -hmm. So many different names you've got, you know, St. Paul Winter Carnival South Winds, the Royal Guard, the Senior and Junior Royalty. You've seen the Vulcan crew. We're getting all of it today. Here all of it, Paul. all of it. They've got a great sound system on their booth, their float. So we're Do you want able to say to, a little bit more about that? Yeah, we we're able to uh, bring a little bit of the West Side and the beautifulness of our Latinx and Latino community here from Minnesota to be able to be present and uh, showcase our music, our comida, and our heritage at the St. Paul Woods Carnival. Wonderful. So I see their involvement heavily here in support of our Latino community, Latinx community. Oh, they got some J-Lo playing on there, I see right here. No. Have you heard J-Lo's latest song? El Anillo y Cuando. Have you heard J-Lo's newest song? Yeah. Because I haven't. I'm, I'm behind, y'all. El Anillo y Cuando. Oh, that's what it's called. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, The Ring. <laughs> Shout out to J-Lo. All right. And next we have the Lions Club. I want to say... The Lions Club of District 5M and 6. Lions Club Internations, the world's largest service organization, celebrating 100 years of service locally and globally. And we're seeing St. Elizabeth School. Orthodox Church. St. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Orthodox Church. Right on. As well as having a presence here on Cinco de Mayo. You know, it's been so nice, Maria, to be out here today with you um, and to see just how many people in La Comunidad know you and are so excited to see you. <laughs> and when I think about what it means to be in community and how that's reflected, I see it here today and it makes me so happy. It's a beautiful and, thing. You know, like that tight-knit community where folks know each other and are out here celebrating um, our cultura, our heritage, our ancestry, and really highlighting and centering it today. Um, one of the few days of the year where it can really happen on a big level, and hopefully we can keep working it so that it's more and more. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Special shout out to everyone in the community that's came up to say hi to us while yes, we're here. It's been great. Watching the parade and showing their love, familia, friends. You know, that's one thing. The West Side, it, it takes a village, like everywhere, to raise a child and to be familia. We're all kind of big, just this big giant familia of different Latinidad, different. <laughs> 
shades of brown. All learning from each other, having our Spanish all immersed with each oh, other. Oh, yeah. We, one thing about the West Side, when you're from the West Side, you support the West Side. So you, here we've got the Pepper Festival. They took a lot of time in that float. Oh, we yeah. We got to give them props for that. Join the Hudson Pepper Fest this summer. Definitely, there are actually pepper, I want to say, uh, contests at El Burrito Mercado. And, oh, really? Uh, yeah, the, the salsa contest. And mm. I'm not talking about dancing. I'm talking about flavor. And up next, we've got... Got marchers from Farnsworth. Mm -hmm. SPPS is Farnsworth is a pre-K through eighth grade aerospace magnet school in St. Paul's East Side. Today, their 180-piece marching band están representando. They are representing their school here in the Cinco de Mayo parade. Oh, they're playing La Bamba. <laughs> love all the marching bands that we're seeing here in the parade today. Look at those kids get down. Go ahead. Once again, those are K through 8th graders representing Farnsworth School. We've got the Pan Opera Loyalty of Lakeville. It's a float. summer festival as well. That's what we have. We've got Lakeville, Pan Prague Royalty, as you can see on their beautiful float. They were smart and have a bubble machine, which you all told, you know, you remember what I told you I about told the magic you the, of bubbles. The magic of bubbles. Give it up for Pan Prague All right. Lakeville Royalty. And here we have the Lions Club. The Lions Club finally made its way. Ahí está León. Celebrating 100 years of service and locally and globally. Say hi to Mr. Lion. Leo the Lion. Headlines. Lions Club, once again, like I said, is celebrating 100 years of service towards communities here locally and globally. Did you know about the Lions Club growing up, Maria? You know, um, I'm just saying as a West Sider, I'm, I'm as a West Sider, I always used to see the Lions Club around. It's like one of those orgs. That's what I wanted yeah. to highlight. It kind of seems like even the presence here, it's like one of those organizations that's kind of always been around. I've seen them west side, South St. Paul, Minneapolis, yeah. you know, from north to mm -hmm. Roseville. So, but they always have been a part of the Cinco de Mayo Parade. They oh, really? They definitely come through to Cinco. We got some more people de la comunidad waving to us. Looking fly. Looking looking great fly. Where's my tamales? <laughs> Maria's on this mission to try to get us food before I want, I the want parade ends. This Boricua from the West Side wants tamales, elotes, tacos. I see a lot of the cotton candy and carnival food, but know. you know, I'm here. I want I want the good food from the Mexicano uh, comunidad here on the west side. For really, sure. I'm on a mission for tacos and elote. Like that's, Yay, that's where I'm Yay, go at. west side. Definitely come and check me, Maria Isa and Ariana Hennies after the parade. We're gonna head over to El Burrito's uh, El Patio and Cafe. That'll be great. Say hi to all the amistades over there. And mm -hmm get caught up on all that good food. Did I say good food is here? <laughs> You're hearing the horns from the Lions Club once again. Go. It's the Lions Club of District 5M6. And up next we've got
We've got Los Ocampos coming next. There they Talking go. Talking about good food. Mm. Los Ocampos serves the Twin Cities most authentic Mexican restaurant. That's who they are. They're serving Mexican cuisine made with recipes and spices that have been handed down from generaciones, from generations, and combined to satisfy cravings. You definitely want to sample everything at on Los their menu. Mm. You know, I love their, you know, talking about Los Ocampo, <laughs> their pozole is lit. <laughs> oh, man. They, I, because I have to, you know, chicken pozole is my thing. Okay. They have really good chicken pozole. So I'm just giving a lot of props to Los Ocampo today Give for their up. pozole. <laughs> and they're located on both sides of the Twin Cities. Yeah, they are. They are. So you can see them in Minneapolis on Lake Street. Mm -hmm. And you can also see them on St. Paul's University Avenue. And they sell all kinds. They sell the quesadillas, burritos, tamales. It's delicious. A whole Ay, variety. Mujer. I know, hambre. I know, Murray. I mean, it's like, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> oh, here is the state bird of Minnesota, a.k.a. the mosquito. <laughs> oh, my God, <laughs> you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> Metropolitan Mosquito Control District is a government agency of the seven-county metro area established in 1958. Their mission is to protect the public from disease and annoyance caused by mosquitoes, black flies and ticks and you can see here we have a huge representation of that bug that bugs us the most the bug that bugs us the most here in minnesota the giant mosquito i just love that you called it the state bird the state bird <laughs> i.e we got so many beautiful west siders of our community coming to say hi give us a shout out give us a shout out west side yay <laughs> go west side go west side once again, you're tuning into SPNN. Yes, you are. Coverage, live coverage of the Cinco de Mayo parade here on the best side, the west side. West side, St. Paul. Oh, and up we've got our veterans. Fourth Congressional District Republican Party of Minnesota veterans. And you just seen them mm -hmm. drag along. Yes. See Greg Ryan. So I think maybe one of the smallest trucks in the parade. Um, oh, and then we've got Doug Wardlow. All right. Doug Wardlow. Who was uh, going for attorney, attorney general? general. We're seeing here um, candidates and elected officials scattered throughout the whole parade, which Definitely. is good to see folks wanting to plug into the community and really hoping to see that that expands beyond just the parade day. And I hear some music coming up. I do too. I can I can hear that bass as we're coming towards the end of the parade route. We are. You've got the YMCA Greater Twin Cities YMCA serving our Twin Cities community in programming and exercise and health and fitness and services for our youth. Make sure you get your Y membership this year. I'll make sure you do. It's okay if you're like me and you're going to wait till the winter starts again. But still, <laughs> get that membership. <laughs> you know, they offer amazing summer programs for our youth, our juventud. And they yes, have t-shirts today that say, Si sí, se puede, with the YMCA of the Greater Twin Cities. Ooh, they have their uh, mascot out here, too. And they also have their Hispanic Latino uh, Leadership Network. Wonderful. So they definitely have been contributing to the Latino communities here in the Twin Cities. Absolutely. And we are so happy that they are here at Cinco de Mayo Parade. Give it up for the YMCA. Mujer, I think we're coming towards the end of the parade here. Yeah, we are. It's been such a great day to be covering the Cinco de Mayo Parade. Yes. So like we said, Thank you to SPNN. Thank you so much. Thank you to all of you who tuned in. 
and thank you for the wonderful, peaceful gathering of our community, our beautiful community. Our beautiful cultura and food. Here on the West Side Cinco de Mayo Parade. My name's Maria Isa. And I'm Mariana Henis. And we want to join the festivities, so come down.